votes. The chairman of the APC Anambra State Primary Election Committee and Governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Abiyadu, said Senator Uba polled 230,201 votes out of the total votes of 348,490 to defeat his closest rival, Onomoku Jombosko, who polled 28,746 votes. Governor Abiyadu said election took place in 20 out of the 21 local government areas in the state, noting that election could not hold in Onicha South due to the failure of the returning officers to conduct the election after collecting election materials from the committee's secretariat. The governor further disclosed that an option A4 method was adopted in the election and blamed the delay in the conduct of the election as scheduled on the failure of the contestants to supply 30 of their representatives as directed by the committee. He said only nine aspirants supplied their representatives to the committee as at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Governor Abiodun explained that despite the minor hiccups, returning officers backed by security escorts were posted to all the 326 wards in the state, declaring that the process was free, fair, transparent, and in line with the party's guidelines. By the authority vested on me, by the National Caretaker Committee of the All Progressive Congress, as the chairman of the Anambra State APC 2021 governorship primaries, I hereby declare Dr. Andy Uba the valid winner of this 2021 Anambra State APC governorship primaries. The election committee chairman, however, debunked insinuations from some of the contestants that the exercise was deliberately delayed, pointing out that his committee only needed to be thorough and transparent. Meanwhile, the state publicity secretary of APC in Anambra State, Okelo Madukaife, in a statement wants the Governor Maimala Bunilet Caretaker Committee to conduct a fresh governorship primary in Anambra State on Tuesday, June 29, 2021, as the one scheduled for Saturday, 26 June 2021, allegedly did not hold. This, the statement said, is necessary as proposed by the leader of APC in Anambra State and Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris 